Toast Guy Gaming here. This is my official 2016 gaming setup tour. At the beginning of my door, we have this authorized personnel only sign along with that. I don't remember where I got that. Um, next to me is actually my sister's room. Or, I don't know if you heard the Steam logo go off. I didn't think it was a little too early. Um, her computer's on, I guess, when she left. So, when you open the door, this bookshelf here didn't used to always be there because of my old desk, but here we go. Um, that's messy as heck, but it's just a miscellaneous of items, like, I got tools in there. Um, I got a couple PSP games, so I don't even really play PSP anymore. But, um, I'm going to go ahead and start off with this. Um, I don't know the best lighting. Let's see if I can do something about that. I didn't really do anything, but... So, on this, I put everything I display. So, since I do have a PS3 near me, I do have PS3 games. Um, just for luck, I have it, my old G GTX 99 or GTX, which was my first gaming PC. Um, I bought it for like 20 bucks. Um, I'm pretty sure back then it was actually a decent GPU, but it only has 512 megabytes of RAM and stuff, so that's not very good. Uh, oh, these are batteries from when I had an Xbox. Um, I used it for the controller. And down here, I am displaying all my um, computer stuff. Um, so, I decided to display everything because I thought it looked pretty cool. Um, but this bookshelf isn't big enough to display everything. I do have the motherboard down there and the CPU cooler down there. And my racing wheel, which only works on PS2, sadly. If it worked on a PSC, that would be pretty cool. But, um, yeah. This is what I got displaying up here. I got Diablo 2 on PC. This is actually the Black Ops 2 um, Hardened Edition, um, which is actually pretty cool. And I got some books down there. <laughs> I don't really have books on a bookshelf. Uh, this green is actually a microfiber cloth. It's how I clean down my monitors without damaging them um, from dust. Uh, up here is a mess, but I got some gamma bottles or cans that are empty that I need to throw away. I just. I use, my friend usually gives me the last of his gamma bottles, which is pretty cool. Um, got my scooter right here. Um, if you ever want to know the parts for some reason, um, just hit me up. This is a trash can I've had since I was like five. Yes, it's actually a Tonka, which, believe it or not, is worth something. That's the reason why I still have it. And here is my Lego cabinet. I don't really, obviously... With my age, I don't really play with Legos, but I have nothing else to display in there. And I like stuff like this, like the RV, those uh, trailer right there. Um, so that's uh, part of the only reason. That and this boat is pretty cool. It's waterproof and it can float. So yes, I know, make fun of me for the Legos. I don't actually still play with them. And if you guys think that's cool, that's awesome. Um, here's my uh, Distant Energy Guide sticker, I don't know why I put it there, and a girl sticker for skateboarding. Um, I was at somewhere called Skate Lab in Simi Valley, California, where um, girl was giving away the stickers, so I got a couple. Um, so here, moving on, this is again, just another microfiber cloth sitting here. Um, this is actually for when my friends come over. This is just a crappy wireless mouse with USB at the bottom and a keyboard. That's all cable lunch, actually down to the right there. That's where that video cable is. And yeah, this is where they could put their computer down there. There's power down there. And they have to play like this. But most of my friends don't mind that they don't have to haul a monitor or keyboard and mouse around when all they have to do is literally bring their computer. Because down there, that white box has every cable um, any of my three friends would need. Um, that includes power, you know, all that fun stuff. So here's the cat box, not one. I have a sunglass door right there. I'm not gonna open it. It's too pain in the neck. I got a fan. Uh, open the door at night. That's the cool air in. Uh, gaming chair from when I used to play console on that crappy TV. Yes, I did. Console present, like you like. Uh, beanbag chair when someone comes over. Cat bed. Cat ever wants to sleep. Here's a mound of a billion different kinds of cables. Um, there's some useful things in there for um, setups and stuff. And if I ever need to 
find a cable for something, I have it. Here's some, I just keep some food in there. Here's next to my bed. Um, I got my phone charger, uh, wireless speaker uh, for electric blanket, and just a flashlight. And then a pencil sharpener down there, which no other place to put it. And then my phone charger on the ground. And here's my bed. We tried to match the colors when we redid my room because we put tile in here. My parents wanted it. And then we have my accent wall right there. And then a whitish color. It's actually not even pure white. It's like a vanilla. I don't know how to explain it. But uh, there you go again. There's outside. Um, see if you can actually get it. So I live on a hill. And that's my backyard. It's actually pretty cool. Um, there's my trailer like again. So you can see that it's pretty big room. Uh, it's not much. But uh, I still got a spotlight lamp over there. Or if I want to do a video and I need it. So let's actually move on to the actual setup itself, what you guys all have been really waiting for. So right here we got my two um, Asus VX248H monitors. Well this is just one, sorry. And I can look that in the chat if you guys want. Or, I mean, one Asus VX248H monitor, 60 hertz. It's that one and this is a Philips one, I don't remember. But this one is 144 hertz. And I use it for CSGO. So I do have this wood piece here. It's sort of cups, so it doesn't bleed onto my desk because I don't have an extended mouse pad yet. And I said in my new set for the 2016, I would get have a new mouse pad and mouse, and I'm still working up to that because I just bought this desk, it kind of sent me back. As some of you know about this desk. So right here is my PC. I got a NVIDIA GTX 1070 and i5-4690K overclocked to 4.5 GHz and 16 gigs of RAM. Um, it maxes out every game I play and I like to play, you know, some good games, you know, maxed out Witcher 3, maxed out 60 FPS, all GG. Um, this is my background. Um, on this monitor I have a different background on the other one, as you can see. This is both my friend's cabin. And the reason why I have these, uh, not something that's of mine, I just think this looks really, really good as a desktop background for my computer. And I took this photo, by the way, when I went to his cabin. Um, yeah. So, that's pretty much my setup. Oh, and I forgot here. Um, actually, my surge protector's in here. I cut a hole in the back, if you guys can see that. I'm sorry if you can't. Of the back, it goes along there. And, yeah. So if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If you have any questions, please uh, comment in this comment section below. And if you like the video, please leave a like. And thanks for watching, you guys. Table management. Um, this is a close-up look at it. Um, I'm doing this in the dark, so this flashlight focuses this, this crappy camera more. So here's the Ethernet cables. They run up to the top. They go across the top. Now it looks pretty messy inside. I'm oh, sorry for the camera switching if it is. Um, so these are all the cables wrapped in little, like, bundles with zip, um, velcro ties on them. So it's actually not as messy as you think. Then we have the power strip going through. Um, this is for my keyboard right here. So I could always undo it if I wanted to switch out my keyboard. Same with the mouse right here. It's all easy to take out if I ever want to. Um, I kind of stuff crap down here, back here. I guess it doesn't really count as cable management. And there's the power or the surge protector in there, but um, the PC goes right there. And then this is all the main cables right here coming from the monitors right here. That's why it's so tight because it comes behind the monitor stand. Um, my 144 hertz monitor. You can actually kind of see it right here, and it goes behind it. Um, and those are all cable clipped in the different directions. So it knows where to go. And then here's the computer spot right here. Also cable tied 